In this video, I'll demonstrate fabricating a Lucia jig. They go by many names, like anterior deprogrammers and anterior bite stops. A Lucia jig is designed to give the patient a platform on which to occlude with their anterior incisor teeth, separating all of the back teeth and hence relaxing their elevator and positional muscles. When we place a Lucia jig, our goal is to have the table that they occlude on parallel to their incisal edges with smooth guidance in a right left direction but also have the table parallel to their occlusal plane or flat in an AP direction and not create an incline. One of the first decisions is whether you're using the Lucia jig transiently during an appointment or you'd like it to last for several days so the patient can utilize it for some acute symptoms. If we're going to have that Lucia jig last for a few days, I need to adhere the bite registration paste that we reline it with to the inside of the plastic. I use VPS tray material as you see me painting here. Next is using bite registration paste to customize or reline the inside of the plastic platform. You want to fill the plastic platform or Lucia jig but not overfill it as we don't want excess material. I'm going to seat it over the centrals but not all the way to the incisal edges. I'm going to have the patient seat the Lucia jig so that we get that parallel or flat plane on their incisors but I hold the labial so it does not tip in an AP direction. And then we just allow the material to set. What we'd like is we'd like it to be full, have an accurate impression, and we'd actually like to make sure that it's rigidly attached to the teeth, that it doesn't just drop loose, so we can just confirm the fit. Next, I'm going to trim all of the excess material, the bite registration paste that extruded out beyond the parameters of the plastic Lucia jig or anterior deprogrammer. I don't want the patient occluding on the bite registration paste or that getting in the way of smooth movements when they go from right to left or into protrusive. Then you can see here we've tried it back in with all of the excess trimmed off. The next thing to do is to actually check the patient's occlusion and make sure that we do have even guidance on right and left of the midline as well as a smooth protrusive stroke. So I hope this has been helpful in fabricating a Lucia jig.